Hi, this is Ginger from My Sister Scrapper. Today I have a mini album to share with you. This mini album is one that I created using the Graphic 45 Good Old Sport paper line. I love this paper line. It's, there's not a lot of guy papers out there and this one is just fabulous. It's very vintage and love the colors and it's just, it's a great paper line. I use the 8x8 paper pad as well as the pockets and tags and then I did use a sheet of the 12x12 that had the 4x6 cut aparts. So on the front cover I layered some of the um, pieces that I cut out. This is from the pockets and tags. Same with this as well and this is one of the um, 4x6 cutouts from the 12x12 paper. And then I took the little stamps here and kind of curled them with my pen and then I just kind of glued them down here with some glossy accents as well as I put glossy accents on the baseball. And I inked around all the edges with walnut stain. I did add some little metal photo corners here that I got from my good friend uh, Monique Mason of Butterbee Scraps. So that's the front cover and then this is the spine. I tried to create the spine um, to kind of resemble the old laces on like an old football or an old helmet or something like that. That's the look I was going for. So what I used was some grunge paper. I had a sheet of grunge paper left in my stash. So I cut it to size and then I ran it through my cuddle bug with, um, and I want to th say it's the scene spots embossing folder, but I'm not sure. And then after I ran it through, I took um, my Distress Ink and Walnut Stain and went over it. And then I took the Distress Ink and Rusty Hinge and went over that and then went back with the Walnut Stain again. So that's the spine. And then I used some extra large eyelets here on both sides. And then I laced it up with some uh, Maya Road twine here. And then this is the back. So you open it up. Oopsie. And on the inside front cover, I created a small little pocket here. And again, I took some of the tickets here and cut them apart and attached them here to the spine here just to cover up some of the extra space I had from, I wanted to leave enough space so my pages would lay flat. Created a small pocket here, and this is a little belly band, another little piece from the pockets and tags. So you open it up, and it's just a little accordion fold out. So you've got a place for five photos there and five photos here. Super cute. And then, so that goes back on there. And then I have another little tag here. I've had a piece of the grunge paper left, so I went ahead and glued that to the back of this tag and added some more twine and an extra large eyelet. And then I have another little photo mat here. So there's three pages in this, and I have created this mini uh, style of mini album before, and I do have a request for a tutorial, which I am going to be doing one. I just haven't had time yet. Um, this is the same style as the Mother Goose mini album that I did. Um, so what happens is you've got a small little pocket here, and again, this is the pockets and tags, a little envelope with a little tag inside, super cute. So you have a pocket, tiny little pocket here, and then you have a pocket here, and again, this is a cutout from the 8x8 paper pad. And then you also have a pocket here with a photo mat. And then you have a larger photo mat back here. Super cute. Love the colors in this paper line. So then this page flips up, and you can put a large photo here. So then you have another pocket here, again, another cutout from the paper collection. And then you have a pocket here, and I went ahead and put one of the pockets and tags in there with a couple of the tags inside. Absolutely fabulous. Love this paper. And then back here is a spot for another tag. So you can put two more photos on there. So you get a lot of bang for your buck here, a lot of real estate. So then you flip the page over and you have the same thing on this side. We have a pocket here with one of the three by four cutouts. Cute postcard, love that. And then there's a small little pocket here. And this is a punch out from the pockets and tags, little label. And then you have a larger photo mat here. So you can put a three by four photo on that with journaling or photos on both sides. And then another larger photo here.
And then this page flips up and you can put a large photo here, although that paper is divine, it's going to be hard to cover that one up. And I have a small pocket here, and I had three of the little uh, scorecards. I went ahead and cut them out and put them on the front of each of the pockets. And then inside this pocket here is I have a double flip-up book. You can put a photo here if you like, and then there's also a larger tag here for a 4x6 photo. So that was just page one. <laughs> So again, I added a strip of the paper to cover up some of the black just to break, up, break it up a little bit. So over here, again, you have another tag from the pockets and tags. Again, some tickets from the paper line as well that I just cut out. Again, another cute postcard. Love the soccer paper, darling. And a larger photo mat here. The newsprint on the back. And a larger photo mat here. Oops, the upside down. And then the page flips up. You have a space for a photo here. Another um, cutout from the design paper. And then I added the larger pocket and tag here. Super cute. And then there is a photo mat in the back here as well. Like I said, I've had several requests for a tutorial, so yes, I will be doing a tutorial. I just haven't had time to do it yet. It's on my list. And then you flip it over. Again, we have another space here for a photo mat. Another tiny little picture can go here. Some more tickets. And a larger photo mat here. And a larger one back here. So even though there's only three pages, there's a lot of space in this mini album. And again, you can put a photo here. Again, here's another little scorecard that I cut out. And then inside this pocket is a flip up book. So you can put two more photos here, or you could actually do four if you wanted. You could put a photo here and then the large tag here. I use my Stampin' Up! Tab Punch to create the tabs. And on the last page, again, another little photo mat here, a strip of uh, the paper here that I cut from the border strip, another little 3x4 cutout, a larger tag here, Oopsie. and a larger photo mat back here. I also use the um, I use the eight by eight paper pad, but then I also use the six by six coordinating papers as well, which worked great for the solids and stuff. Again, you can put a large photo here, another cutout from the paper collection, and another pocket and tag. And I stuck two of the tags inside here just because I could. There was room for both of them in there. Super cute. And then a large photo mat back here. So the nice thing about the 6x6 six six paper pad is that it coordinates with the paper line, but they're different designs, so you're not getting repeats. It's really, really fabulous. So over here, you again, some more tickets here. Another 3x4 cutout. Love the postcards. And I had a few of the uh, little images left, and I just cut them apart and made two little booklets with just the images, little, like little baseball cards or collector cards or something. Love the vintage images. Oh, they were so cute. So those just go back in there. And then I have another photo mat here. And a larger photo mat here. And it flips up. Again, you can put a large photo here. Another scorecard here on the front of this pocket here. And inside here is the flip up book. And you could put a photo here, but again, this paper, the graphics are just fabulous. And a larger photo mat here. I love the star paper too. And on the back inside cover, what I did was I, um, again, I added some more of the border strips right here. 
I took one of the 4x6 postcard steps, and this is from the 12x12 12 12 sheet that I purchased. And I just took my craft knife and I punched a couple holes here and I slit the postcard on the center line and then I only glued it down around the edges here. And I glued this side all the way down. That way I could make it a pocket and I could stick some tags in there because I had a few leftover papers and I wanted to use it all. So that's how I did that piece right there. Super cute, I thought that was a great idea and it didn't add any more bulk because right now it lays perfectly flat and that's how I want to keep it. <laughs> so there you go everybody and that's the back. That's my mini album using the Graphic 45 good old sport 8x8 paper pad, the 6x6 paper pad and the pockets and tags. There you have it everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.